I just want to bring it to you guys and let you know, man, when you're booking some of these loads, you got to kind of be careful. YouTube, YouTube, what is going on? I'm your host, Runaway Child, and I'm back at y'all with another one. And y'all know the routine, man. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. And if you are subscribed to the channel, man, go ahead and throw a like on this video. A like don't cost you anything to throw on this video. But anyhow, what I want to talk to y'all today was about I don't know what's going on with this weather, man. Good Lord. This weather is bipolar as hell. Man, one day, I told y'all, it's throwing out numbers like the Powerball. One day is 25. The next day is 72. And the next day after that, it might be 33. Like, what's going on? I don't know. Then it's raining one day. Sunny the next day. The next thing you know, here come a tornado. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, yesterday I had a, a, a inclusion with a, a agent. And uh, I just thought that I'd talk to y'all about it. You know, some of these agents, they are, you know, I guess double booking loads or third partying booking loads or whatever, however you want to call it. But what that means is... You know, they will get the load from one person, then they'll put it back on the board for a different price, <clears throat> and then someone else will get the load, and then they'll put it back on the load for even a different price. And it causes a whole bunch of confusion because one person got to get in touch with the next person. No one really knows what's going on with the load, you know, things of that nature. And so, I found myself stuck in a situation on yesterday where basically I was sitting for about eight hours waiting for this agent or broker to figure out what was going on with the load and to figure out what needed to be done about uh, getting the proper paperwork and stuff brought over to the load. Or whatnot. So, I just want to bring it to you guys and let you know, man. When you're booking some of these loads, you gotta kind of be careful of, you know, like what agents and you know stuff like that that you're dealing with because, you know, it's like some of these guys they are just behind a computer and looking at these loads, and they're like, okay, well, I can get this load. When they have no clue of what's going on with the load, they just want to be able to make the money off the load. And then they want to hassle you or give you the run around and then make it seem like it's your fault when you keep bugging them or when you tell them, hey, look, just take me off the load. And then they want to act like it's a problem. So be careful, fellas, ladies. You know, be careful when you when you're booking these loads and stuff. Um this is not a you know common thing that goes on you know over here at the star star but um i hear a lot of drivers talking about these sorts of things happening here lately and it's just it's it's, it's getting to be you know um kind of uh uh aggravating to the drivers and stuff because it's like the drivers are looking to, you know, secure a load, get off that load, secure another load, get off that load, and, you know, so so forth and so on. And, um, you know, when you got it set, how much money you want to make for the week, how much time you want to spend out for the week, and then you wind up wasting eight hours of your day sitting at a receiver or a shipper, and now you got to account for that time. So, you know... When you do your pre-planning, you do your uh, pre-trips and stuff for the week, you know, you don't calculate all this stuff into accountability because, you know, most people try to get you in and out because they got millions of trucks that's coming through. 
or millions of you know other drivers and stuff that's coming through so um if y'all got anything that will help in these type of situations any of you drivers or any of you brokers that watch the channel or any of you agents that watch the channel um any of you dispatchers that watch the channel um you know management if you're in management logistics if any of y'all got a solution to this problem man please leave it in the comments or hit me up at runaway child at runaway child 35 at gmail.com or hit me up on instagram you know what i'm saying at runaway child 35 you know let me know what what i i may be doing wrong it might be something that i'm doing wrong so hit me up man let me know like i said y'all leave y'all comments below because i know it's a lot of y'all other drivers out there that's going through some of these similar issues or some of these similar you know problems or what what have you um if you are just hit me up man let me know you know i won't make this video too long i just wanted to you know kind of bring that to you know some of you guys attention and see if y'all might be having these same issues or problems or you know things of that nature so hit me up let me know run away child and we are out